Hi everyone, I am Mark Joseph A. Paalan and I will be reporting Asian Development Bank. Asian Development Bank or ADB Shimoto is fighting poverty in Asia and the Pacific. ADB was conceived in the early 1960s as a financial institution that would be Asian in character and foster economic growth and cooperation in one of the poorest regions in the world. A resolution passed at the first ministerial conference on Asian economic cooperation held by the United Nations Economic Commission for Asia and the Far East in 1963 set that vision on the way to becoming reality. The Philippines, capital of Manila, was chosen to host the new institution, which opened on December 19, 1966, with 31 members that came together to serve a predominantly agricultural region. Takashi Watanabe was ADB's first president, and now we have Masatsugo Asakawa as its current president. The company also maintains 31 field offices around the world to promote social economic development in Asia. The bank admits the members of the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and Pacific and ASCAP, formerly the Economic Commission for Asia and Far East or ICAFE, and non regional developed countries. From 31 members at its establishment, ADB has now 68 members, with 49 that's coming from the region. During the 1960s, ADB focused much of its assistance on food production and rural development. And we will, talking, uh, we will be talking more about the background, history, scope, and finances of ADB. In the 1950s, as early as 1956, Japan Finance Minister Hisato Ichimada had suggested to United States Secretary of State John Foster Jules that development projects in Southeast Asia could be supported by a new financial institution for the region. A year later, Japanese Prime Minister Nobusuke Kishi announced that Japan intended to sponsor the establishment of a regional development fund with resources largely from Japan and other industrial countries. But the U.S. did not warm the plan and concept was Shelves. You will account on the future of Asia in the Pacific 50 years of the Asian Development Bank, July 2017. In 1960s, the idea came up again late in 1962 when Koru Ohashi, an economist from a research institute in Tokyo, visited Takeshi Watanabe, then a private financial consultant in Tokyo, and proposed a study group to form a development bank for the Asian region. The group met regularly in 1963, examining various scenarios for setting up a new institution and drew on Watanabe's experience with the World Bank. However, the idea received a cool reception from the World Bank itself and the study group became discouraged. In parallel, the concept was formally proposed at a trade conference organized by the Economic Commission for Asia and the Far East ECAP. By a young Thai economist, Paul Site Amnuai. Despite an initial mixed reaction, support for the establishment of a new bank soon grew. In uh, in 1960s, still in 1960s, as a key player, an expert group was convened to study the idea with Japan invited to contribute to the group. When Watanabe was recommended, the two streams proposing a new bank from Ikape in Japan came together. Initially, the U.S. was on the fence, not opposing the idea, but not ready to commit financial support. But a new bank for Asia was soon seen to fit in with a broader program of assistance to Asia planned by U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson in the wake of escalating U.S. military support for the government of South Vietnam. So, as a key player in the concept, Japan hoped that the ADB offices would be in Tokyo. However, eight other cities had also expressed an interest bank, an interest. Colombo, Kabul, Kuala Lumpur, Singapore, Manila, Phnom Penh, and Tehran. To decide the 18 prospective reg regional members of the new bank, held three rounds of votes at a ministerial conference in Manila in, this in November to December of 1965. In the first round on November 30, Tokyo failed to win a majority, so a second ballot was held the next day at noon. Although Japan was in the lead, it was still inconclusive, so a final vote was held after lunch. In the third poll, Tokyo gained Eight votes to Manila's nine with one abstention. Therefore, Manila was declared the host of the new development bank. The Japanese were mystified and deeply disappointed. Watanabe later wrote in his personal history of ADB, I felt as if the child I had so carefully reared had been taken away to a distant country. Source, Asian Development Bank Publication Towards a New Asia, 1977, page 16. Japanese Prime Minister Isako Sato asked Watanabe to be a candidate, although he initially declined, pressure came from other countries and Watanabe agreed. In the absence of any other candidates, Watanabe was elected first president of Asian Development Bank at its inaugural meeting on November 24, 1966. Going to 1970s, in the 1970s, ADB's assistance to developing countries in Asia expanded 
into education and health, and then to infrastructure and industry. Gradual emergence of Asian econo economies in the later part in the latter part of the decade spurred demand for better infrastructure to support economic growth. ADB focused on improving roads and providing electricity when the world suffered its first oil price shock. ADB shifted more its assistance to support energy projects, especially those promoting the development of domestic energy sources in member countries. So this is an example. This is the bar graph of ADB's lending operation by fund but in 1968 to 1976 now we have the lending operations per region from 1968 to 1976 and you will see the details in the handout that i will be sending in our group chat and in 1980s following considerable pressure from the reagan administration in the 1980s abb reluctantly began working with the private sector in an attempt to increase the impact of its development assistance to poor countries in asia and the pacific in the wake of the second oil crisis, ADB expanded its assistance to energy projects in 1982. ADB opened its first field office in Bangladesh, and later in the decade, it expanded its work with non-government organizations. And going to 1990s, in the 1990s, ADB began promoting regional cooperation by helping the countries on the Mekong River to trade and work together. The decade also saw an expansion of ADB's membership with the addition of several Central Asian countries following the end of the Cold War. In mid-1997, a severe financial crisis hits the region, setting back Asia's economic gains. ADB responded with projects and programs to strengthen financial sectors and create social safety nets for the poor. ADB approved its largest single loan, a $4 billion emergency loan to the Republic of Korea. And it is and established the Asian Currency Crisis Support Facility to accelerate assistance. In 1999, recognizing that economic development was bypassing many people in the region, ADB adopted poverty reduction as its overarching goal. Now going to the year 2000, the in 2003, this is the acute respir respiratory syndrome or SARS epidemic hit the region and ADB responded with the programs to help the countries in the region work together to address the infectious disease, including avian influenza and HIV or AIDS. ADB also responded to a multitude of natural disasters in the region, committing more than $850 million for recovery in areas of India, Indonesia, Maldives, and Sri Lanka, which were impacted by the December 2004 Asian tsunami. In addition, $1 billion in loans and grants was provided to victims of the October 2005 earthquake in Now, moving to two, uh, 2010, Asia moved beyond the economic crisis and by 2010 had emerged as a new engine of global economic growth, though it remained home to two-thirds of the world's poor. In addition, the increasing prosperity of many people in the region created a widening income gap that left many people behind. ADB responded to, it, to this with loans and grants that encouraged in economic growth. As the year of the Millennium Development Goals, MDGs draws to a close. The results have been mixed, while ADB's work has contributed to Asia and the Pacific, slashing extreme poverty by more than half. The region is still home to 1.2 billion people who live in 3.10 dollars a day or less, and almost three quarters of the world's underweight children. About 600 million people have no access to electricity, and 1.7 billion still lack improved sanitation. A huge amount of work still must be done with the new Sustainable Development Goals as important guidance. ADB's past president, we have Takeshi Watanabe, Shiro Inoue, Horaichi Yoshida, Masao Fujioka, Kimimasa Tarimizu, Mitsuo Sato, Tadao Chino, Haruhiko Kuroda, and Takihiko Nakao. Thank you.